Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Andy if this is your first time here. Today I wanted to branch out from makeup a little bit and do a hair tutorial. This is how I had my hair in my last video and I got a lot of questions and requests on how I did it. So I figured I would just do a tutorial on it. Um, yeah, it's just super easy and fast and I love the way it looks. So, if you guys want to see more, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so you guys are going to die when you see how easy this hairstyle is. So, first off, I'm just going to make sure that my hair is all brushed out. <clears throat> because we are going to be putting them into braids. Um, and it's just a lot easier to do when your hair is brushed out. <clears throat> okay and then you're gonna part your hair however you like your hair parted um, I kind of switch mine off and on um, I'll either part mine like on the side or in the middle but today I think I'm gonna do a middle part <clears throat> just gonna go right down and go all the way to the back Then you'll have your two sections. <clears throat> so for this we're going to be doing a Dutch braid and if you don't know how to Dutch braid you could probably just do you know a French braid if not just regular braid and you'll pretty much get the same effect. <clears throat> so we're just brushing it out and then <clears throat> I'm going to get my hair a little bit damp. It's just a lot easier to work with and I find that the braids or the waves just come out better when your hair is a little bit damp. So you can either do this, you know, when you get out of the shower and your hair is like 80, 90% dry or you can just take a squirt bottle, which is what I'm doing. Just giving it a little bit damp, not, not soaking, but just a little bit damp. kind of comb that through and then I'm going to use this is the OGX nourishing coconut oil I'm just gonna spray some of this in my hand and kind of just dis distribute it in my hair and I love this stuff because I have pretty frizzy hair and I find when I use this, it kind of helps me control the frizz and it also makes your hair really shiny, which I love. <clears throat> Who doesn't love shiny hair? I'm gonna give it a little more blood up there. Oh my goodness, all over. Okay, and then just brushing it through one more time. This hairstyle is so easy. Um, I love it. it. Just if I know that I'm going somewhere and have to be up and ready early in the morning, I will wash my hair the night before and put it in these braids. And then in the morning, I wake up, take the braids out, and my hair is done. It's just so nice and convenient. It's not damaging to your hair. Um, I just love it. I think it looks pretty and natural. So we're gonna get started. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna start off by Dutch braiding the two sides of my hair. And these obviously don't have to be perfect braids because we're just gonna be taking them out anyways. So yeah, I'm just gonna begin to braid.
Okay, and now we are just going to tie it off. <clears throat> and I like to leave quite a bit out at the bottom just because I like my ends to look a little bit more straight. So yeah, I, I leave quite a bit off at the end. Okay, we have one side done and see my, this is no way perfect. Like I have bumps and bubbles and everything, but it's totally fine because we're gonna take them out in a few hours anyways. Okay, now, <clears throat> moving on to the other side. so I'm now to the bottom of the braid and you just want to make sure that um, both sides of the braid kind of match up as to where it ends you want to make sure that you're leaving the same amount of hair out on the ends just so that it's even the waves are even and we're just tying it off Okay, there we go. We have our two little French braids. And yeah, you guys, this is the easiest hairstyle ever. So I'm just gonna let these kind of sit and let the water and everything in my hair dry. Um, and then I will be right back to show you how to finish this off. Okay, so we are back and it's been a little bit of time. My hair is completely dried. Um, I, f I found that with this hairstyle, the longer you leave the braids in, the better off. Um, that's why I prefer to do this like at nighttime after the shower and then I can just sleep a sleep in them. But if you can't do that, you can definitely like do it in the morning and then just kind of let them hang out for a few hours. So what I do next is I'm just going to take my hair straightener and this is really the only part of the tutorial where you're using heat so I just kind of go over my braid like this I feel like it just kind of smooths it out and really locks in the waves okay okay and now we are going to take the elastics out. <clears throat> okay, so when you unravel your braid, you wanna be really careful um, not to kind of mess the braid up too much because then your hair will get frizzy and you don't want this hairstyle to go frizzy. So I'm just gently Taking the waves out. Okay. There is one side out. <clears throat> and I have naturally curly hair, like more so wavy as I've gotten older, but I just really love doing this hairstyle on me personally because my hair just takes it so well. And I just love the way that it looks. So we're just taking out the other side.
Okay. Okay. Now there is the other side. And I just love this. I think it looks so pretty and natural. And this is just a hairstyle that's really in right now that will look good on anyone. So what I sometimes do is I will take my straightener and I will just kind of straighten some pieces out if I feel there's any that um, are too like crimpy or wavy for me, but I feel like everything looks pretty good. <clears throat> and this is all my real hair, by the way. I have no hair extensions. This is all my real hair. So next, <clears throat> You could just leave it like this if you wanted. I'm just gonna spray a little bit more of this coconut oil in my hair. Gently. You don't wanna mess the waves up. Okay, so like I said, you could totally just leave it like this if you wanted. I think I might add like a little clip in my hair today. I'm kind of feeling it. Um, I got, so on Amazon, I got a pack of like 10 clips, um, oops, I got a pack of 10 clips on Amazon, I think for like 15 bucks, and <clears throat> here's just a couple of them to show you, they're so cute and fun and just a way to like kind of make your hairstyle a little bit cuter, and they're really in right now, but I've seen, um, I've seen like places that have one or two clips for like $15 and I'm just like I do not want to pay that so I got these on Amazon and I will find the link and I will link it down below in the description for you guys if you want to get them but they are just so fun and cute and I don't know I just love them so I might put one of these in today I don't know which one I want to do they're all so cute I love them all. Okay, so do I want to do this one? Should I do this one? Or... <clears throat> this one. I don't know. I like them both. Let's see one more time. I think I'm gonna do this one. So that's just like a fun way to kind of accessorize a little bit. So yeah, honestly, that is everything I do. If I feel the need to, I'll kind of go in with like a comb on these side pieces and just kind of, um, just kind of um, tease it a little bit, but I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, I just love this hairstyle. It's so easy to do and I love it. I think it looks good on everybody. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's super easy and let me know in the comments below if you try it out and if you like it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.